The results when it comes to qualifying here in Silverstone bags. Liddell, surprise, surprise. Number one, Arbate, incredibly pacey in the Haas at two. Jazz CB, Clifford, Jake, Invero, Juggles, Brani, Ozzy, and Honey Badger make up the 10. There are three drivers making their pre TK debut. Milky Man, finally in. Gazalinga as well. Natty Essendon, unfortunately, not among the top pace setters. Welcome to Silverstone. And Bihar's underway nice and early. Gaza follows him. And eventually, it is lights out. The Haas doing what they want. It leads to calamity here in the wet. Can Bags Liddell get away cleanly? He can. Will very, very quickly jump on back. Milky Man up to seventh after that false start of sorts. A Haas goes flying. Not sure. It is indeed probably Milky Man again, of course. Brani in 20th. Aussie 19th. Arbate has fallen all the way down. The Haas are not having a great start here in Silverstone. It's great news for the top of the pack. Bags Liddell. Clifford, despite corner cutting and overtaking. Jimmy Dimes in third. Excusez-moi. Monsieur Dimes up to third. Both Aston Martin up there. Might not last forever. We'll enjoy it while we can here in the wet, of course. You do not need to pit. It may well be required for other means, other circumstances. Jazz CB in fourth. Jake in fifth. So the Alpha Tori up and amongst it. Joggles in sixth. He finally has a Red Bull teammate. Matty Essendon on his pre-TK debut in 11th. Invero and Honey Badger there and thereabouts. Gazalinga on his debut in 13th. That one Aussie who has been so good recently in and amongst the chaos. Arbate 59. Well, whether it was predetermined or a result of his teammates carnage, either way, the Haas are in the mud and Jimmy Dimes is forced to pit. Most unfortunate after starting oh so well. Brani in 17th, who actually won Silverstone in the lobby before we get started. The Milky Man will only be... Oh my goodness, I thought we were about to watch. Will only be... Take Bihar out under AI in the pits, but just gets through. So Giovinazzi, the four aforementioned human drivers are in there. It is a packed pre-TK. Only Treaders, who is... Not here, not sure what his circumstances are. Every other driver is here for Silverstone in the wet. If you are not quite up to speed, this is the fourth of ten races for Season 2 of the Grand Prix TK. We've had Melbourne, Austria, Canada, and now here in Great Britain. Jazz CB, after finishing behind Bags Liddell, in Melbourne, has won both races after that, and he's right behind Club Clifford here in race four. So Bags has been a little unfortunate, maybe just a driver error or two creeping into his normally perfect standard. Really hoping to set things right the way that he sees it. That one Aussie who is down in 12th currently, is third overall. Brani and Clifford in the Alpine just behind him. It is race four of 10. We've got enough of an indicator to know who is hot and who is not. But there's plenty of time to set things right. Our last race will be in Brazil as Jazz spins out, trying to go past Clifford. There's no way through. And he falls back to six, where he should stay just ahead of Honey Badger. Just to confirm my earlier point, Brazil, our last race will be double points. So, the standings will surely change all the way through to and including that final race here in Silverstone. Bags Liddell with a five second lead, Clifford with the penalty. Milky Man has not yet taken his drive-through. 
I'm quite sure he would have gotten a drive through. Maybe not. Back in the pits again. Will Oli be in last? Gazalinga not having a good start, but anything can and will happen. We've said it before. We'll say it again. Jimmy Dimes having to pit. Goodness knows what we should be looking at. To be honest, Bags Liddell is in the clear, but after that, it is thick and fast and exciting. Clifford second, Jake third, Juggles in fourth. Juggles had an excellent race last week in Canada, finishing fourth just outside the podium positions. He was seventh the week before that in Austria, and he goes past. <laughs> Jake, oh my goodness, goes past Clifford with ease. I'm a, I'm a little confused, maybe just early on the brakes and then a nudge. Clifford forcing Joggles off the track. It's a elbows out situation. Not just out, but extended. Clifford now goes past. I can only assume there's something up with Clifford's Alpine because he is not on race pace the way that we're used to. Maybe Invero can have a look at him. Jazz, after spinning out, has a bit of work to do. But as we've seen in the previous races, you do not want to miss a thing all the way through to the final lap. We've had that one Aussie lead a race until the last corner. We've had Bags Liddell lead a race until the last corner. Don't go anywhere. It is fair to say that the pre k made its name last season for some spectacular crashes and clips. There's been one or two over our three races. You have to respect and give credit to the drivers this season, particularly here today. All 20 still going. Sure, there's been a bit of carnage. As the yellow flags come out. Be it temporarily, I'm sure. They are providing us with some brilliant races, memorable moments, stunning overtakes and more. Milky Man goes past Will Ollie B, who I think is just cruising. Bags with an eight second lead is flying. Jazz CB down in six. He did say it is not his favorite race. Silverstone and he just don't quite agree. Maybe the more he goes, the more at home he will feel. He already got... Look at that. All the way as the brakes come out. Jazz CB under two seconds to Invero. This juggles Clifford Invero battle still going. We've talked about the drivers individually. What about as a team? Alpha Tori, 86 points. Then it's Alpine in second. Aston Martin in third after Jimmy contributed last week. Williams for Haas five. Does not look like Haas will probably make too much of an inroads. Will Ollie B says that's enough for me. Might be an internet thing, who knows? Might just not be feeling it from 20th. The Red Bull, now that Matty Essendon is a part of things, maybe this is the start of a charge for them. Matty in eighth, very respectable. Juggles currently on the podium and Clifford. Breaking a little too late there. Maybe just a little slippery on that track. You can understand why everyone's been begging for a wet race. I'm pretty sure it was Arbate who said he's just got a feeling it'll rain. The Brit understanding the weather conditions perfectly. And look at that now, Clifford has overtaken someone in the pits? Excuse me? Did I just see what I think I just saw? Club Clifford overtaking Juggles off the track in the pits. I make of that what you will. The Red Bull's out of there nice and quickly. Infero is there and Clifford, who I'm sure needed a new wing, Maybe even having a look at the Inters. Goodness knows what this will mean. It is a long pit entry. It is a long time to get out of there. What about Jimmy Dimes? 
He's already made his pit stop. If he can stay out of trouble, might be able to use the pace of the cars around him to push up the spots. The safety car is out. I repeat, the safety car is out. I'm not sure for what incident this will be. I did not notice any cars fall down the standings. This is not good news for Bags Liddell, who's exceptional speed and quick lap times now dare i say mean nearly nothing jake in second jazz in third the alpha tori most pundits favorites to take out the team standings for the pre-tk me badger up to fourth matty in fifth aussie six ricardo the ai up in seventh someone sort that out please arbate brani Lewis, Saints, Norris, Joggles, Invero, Jimmy, Clifford, Gaza. The good news is, should be able to cut into that time quite nicely if he does still rate himself as a chance. Catch up as quickly as possible. Jazz will take the opportunity to pit. You can see the rain has eased off. I feel like it's eased off, so maybe going to the Inters. Over the wets is the go. A bit confused as to why Gazza isn't really catching up at the moment, but we'll try and give it time. Not sure what the rest of the race really will do for Bihar. Will only be having left and have a look there. Your top 15, and I'm sure Jazz will catch right up. So your top 16. Nicely bunched. Jazz is actually a little bit behind the safety car. You'd imagine would be pulling in after this lap, so that 10 seconds will be fine. Gaz is actually losing time. I'm perplexed. All right, now, look at that. 40 seconds becomes 20. Will Ollie B's back in. 15 seconds. Go on, Gazza. The race is still on. The restart will be something to watch. Will this change the fortunes of Bags Liddell? Jazz going from up the top to near the bottom. Go Gazza, we're cheering for him. The Rari on debut, he's losing time again. How is he losing time on the safety car? I'm so confused. Giovanazzi, Milky Man, will Ollie be, but will stick near the top. Have a look at that, 16 drivers bunched together. I still don't know why we have a safety car. We'll ask those questions after the race. Gazza down to 13 seconds. No cars have DNF'd. I'm almost certain it won't end that way. But as I said earlier, and I'll say again, credit the drivers for their exceptional skill, dedication to their craft. Confirming there, the safety car will be in this lap. There's only 13. We're doing 25 percenters to keep things tasty. You've got a feast of a race. Gazzalinga is caught up. I see him there in the background. Ladies and gentlemen, 17 cars here for the restart. If you thought anything was locked in, think again. The safety car pulls in. Bags Liddell to set the pace. Here we go. He starts the pace, Jake in second, Honey Badger third, Matty fourth, Aussie fifth, Ricardo's up there, get out of the way, Danny, Arbate, Brani, Lewis, Signs and Norris, surely, with 16, 15, however many drivers we've got today, we won't have the AI in the points, that would be a shambles. It was clean, and I think it still is, I'm sure that's just a juggles overtake on the two AI, and once again, what about the standard of driving? Here in Silverstone, or indeed in the Grand Prix TK as a whole. Someone's gone very wide back there. Jazz overtakes Clifford, who I can only assume is still holding some type of damage or is getting, uh, what's the right term? Some not favorable treatment, unfavorable treatment. Gaza has spun out again. Jimmy Dimes will not, it appears, back up his fantastic effort from last week 
Jazz up to 14 on the Inters. I guess we'll see. AI taking ills again. Juggles up to eighth. No sooner did Bags lose his lead. Thanks, safety car. Then he's gone and got it again. Jake second. Honey Badger in third. He copped a little bit of cheeky banter before we got started today. Joggles down to ninth. Hero oh dear. It's hard to know what to look at. We'll stick with Joggles and Briny. Look at this. The Haas in there as well. Arbate. Joggles past. Arbate past. Joggles again on the inside. Holds off Arbate. Some contact. But thankfully, not enough to send a car flying on the straight. Maybe it'll change again. Arbate has a look at Joggles. Runs out of room and time. Slots in behind. Goodness me. Clifford is in the pits again. Not a good day for Alpine. Unless Brani can really make moves from 10th. Inveros past Arbate. Arbate's past him again. Look at the slipping. The sliding. But they hold it again. Invero comes out better. Arbate stays ahead of Brani for how long? The Alpine cannot get through on this occasion. Again, we have a look at the yellow flags. Jazz up into 11th. Right behind Brani. The AI are out of the points, apart from Ricardo, who's holding everybody up. Clifford's in the pit. Milky's in the pit. Confirming after a ruling. And Lewis is gone. Lewis, the first driver. See you later, Sir Lewis. Jimmy Dimes possibly involved in that altercation. Either way, the greatest to ever do it, many would say, is the first to be eliminated from this race. Jazz goes past our bait. Honestly, chat viewers, where do we go from here? What do we look at? Sumptuous driving. Battles all over the track. Bags Liddell, five seconds out in front. Joggles is past Danny finally. Jake in second. Honey Badger third. We were talking about him before, Honey Badger. The lad in the Williams, 19th in his first race. Then ninth to get two points. 17th in Canada. Would he get his first ever podium? Aussie's behind him currently. Maybe a bit of team instructions because Aussie has been sublime. Fifth, fifth and second. That one, Aussie. Tremendous appeal from Jazz CB. Ensuring that Aussie kept his second place after a bizarre ruling from the officials after the race had finished. It was a driver vote and eventually was overturned. We might just make our way through. There's not long left. It's absolutely flown by. First things first. We're going to chuck this on for our final standings. Secondly, we're just going to confirm the stops. But before that, Honey Badger up seven spots. Matty up 15. Bob Clifford down 13. Bihar down seven. And Jazz made that pit. He could still be on for a second place. Maybe third at worst. Look at his race pace. Can he overtake Klingley? Joggles, Invero, Giovinazzi, Clifford and Bihar had to make two stops. It says Jimmy Dimes hasn't made a stop. I'm so sure that's not correct. Maybe there's something I don't know. Confirming Jazz with that fastest lap, if you do not mind. Apologies. Make sure we leave it on these two until the end. Jazz CB surely can't gain the seconds on bags, but can he make it? An alpha -rific podium. Jake in second. This is Jazz trying to go past Aussie. The two that came together after the race last week literally come together now. But Jazz past one, past two. Honey Badger, get out of the way. He relents. 
Bob Clifford's got the fastest lap for now. Jazz CB on an overtaking feud. And he may well have to ask Jakey just to pop out of the way on the straight because he is going so quickly. And another ruling was that any driver can get fastest lap. So even if you're down in 18th, 19th, 17th, quite relevantly, as we see Jazz go past Jake, it means that there's something that you can race for until the very end. Hit every lap to get onto some softs. I don't care, whatever you need to do. Surely, Jazz does not have the pace to catch bags. The only thing that will be on the mind is, I believe, unfortunately, Aussie has slipped, meaning Honey Badger goes past. No, sorry. Is it Badger that slipped with Aussie going past? Indeed. And Arbate does indeed pit to have a crack at the fastest lap. So much going on until the very end. But Jazz has been there to pick up the scraps. You cannot put out of your mind, you cannot forget how wonderful his racing has been. You do also need to mention the bit of fortune and virtue that he has had in terms of Aussie and particularly Bags making errors, being pushed to their limits. And you have a look at the time being eaten into as someone spun off. It might be Milky Man. It looked like a Haas to me. Have a look at your map. That's why we've got it there. Jazz CB, three and a half seconds behind Bags Liddell with a lap left. What was he down at? 17th or something. He's got to do three seconds. He may might even get it done this lap. Have a look at that. Two and a half seconds. Bags Liddell may well be eaten up. The question will be, how's Bags defensive driving? You have to excuse me. I did not realize the degradation, I guess, of Bags tires having not made a pit stop. And here we go for a fourth consecutive race. Jazz goes under 137 in the wet. We have a barnstormer, a thriller until the very end. Bags Liddell has led all the way from the start and now needs to somehow try and hold Jazz off for one more. Jazz trying to go through the inside. Bags will try every trick in the book and some that aren't in there to attempt to get this done. But it's not going to be enough. Jazz on the fresher tires. Does not even need to wait till halfway through. Bihar's had enough. And Jazz CB will only gain in speed in distance, you would think. You would think. Bags is within a second. Keep an eye on that time. feel like Jazz will, if anything, extend. If you have a look at that pace he had, it's no discredit to Bags Liddell. The race at the top, ladies and gentlemen, has been something to watch. Bags took out race one. Jazz takes out number two. Jazz takes up number three. Jazz is down in 17th place. With only a few laps remaining, he makes 16 overtakes. The crucial one being right at the very end. Bags Liddell gobbled up Jazz CB with his third race win. Bags Liddell leads for 12, but not 13 laps. Comes in second. The Alpha Tori are only going to extend their lead at the top. Jakey flying through for third. Aussie and Badger, fourth and fifth. Magnificent for the Williams. What about Matty on debut in sixth? The Red Bull keep it. Nice and hot. Joggle seventh. Inver eighth. And then some AI. McLaren will get some further points. They only had one so far. Poor Gazalinga on his pre-TK debut. One spot outside some points. The rest of them just having a little handshake as we finish off. Here's the Haas. Jimmy Dimes is... I don't know what he's thinking right now. 
Bob Clifford down in 17th. Make it 16th, maybe. <laughs> I don't know what's going on there. Goodness gracious me. Matty Essendon is your driver of the day on his debut. Congratulations, Matty. But what about the Alpha Tory? What about that man? Jazz CB. Three races in a row. He stands the highest of all. Ags Liddell, yet again, will need to be content with second. Jakey, understated, just as important for Alpha, I'm sure, in third. Going through those final standings, Jazz CB with the fastest lap as well, if you don't mind. No one even comes close. Bag second, Jake third. Aussie has been spectacular in fourth. Badger is highest standing ever in a pre-TK fifth. Matty on debut six. Joggles, Invero, the two McLaren, Gaza, Brani, Arbe, and others not had their best day. I'm pretty sure I can't even scroll through down the bottom. I don't know if that's a glitch or a bug or I'm just shook from the race. All I know is that we'll see you same time, different place next week in Monaco.